Hi, Lucy here. Well, today uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is um, if, if you have a motor that sounds like this. Okay, and a lot of times uh, it'll do that for a second and then it'll automatically pop the breaker. Um, eventually it will. So what that probably is, usually eight out of ten times, it's this capacitor here. And what I do is I usually carry a bunch of them around with me um, and there are different uh, numbers that you have to make sure and they're called MF. And um, that's like this one is a 50, other ones are 35, 25, uh, uh, 30. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off and then we're gonna compare it, which I already know it's this. Um, and I'll show you how to, how to replace this and it's really quite easy, um, but there's a couple things you do have to know and I'm gonna go shut the breaker off, and that's number one, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, and then when I go shut a breaker off, uh, just to be sure, um, I go and turn the pool. Okay, so it's fine. All right, so now, here we go. We're basically gonna take this little hood off. It's two screws. Don't drop them in the dirt. <laughs> but this is why you always carry a magnet with you. All right. Now, what you want to do, I get a little a flat head. Now, what you're going to see is these two wires going on, hooking onto these terminals. And before you touch anything, you want to disengage the charge, if there is one, all right? If there's anything left, you put your screwdriver across both, okay? Then we're going to pull these off. You could use needle nose pliers, <laughs> which I didn't get. Okay, now, and on, on, and I always like to replace them where they were. So on this, they were right there. So now, this one, where are you? Well, I know it's a 50, but it says 50, and I'm going to replace it with this. It's a little thinner. So, all you do, and this is so easy, uh, is you push them back. To where they were. Now, before I turn, I, I put the cover back on. I want to make absolutely sure this is it, because it could be other things. It could be a frozen shaft or something else. Uh, the windings could be fried, but this is uh, most of the time when it makes that noise is it. So I'm going to go turn the breaker on. Unfortunately, it's on the other side of the house. It's not right here, which would be convenient. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to test it. Here we go. Isn't that nice? Now here's the thing, uh, when you put it back, and I'm going to go shut the breaker off before I put it back because I'll be touching the wires, um, you know, and you want to make sure that this is on, uh, pretty much it's very easy, so self-explanatory, and then just put the screws back in, but the bottom line is this is a, a repair just about anybody can do, just remember to shut the breakers off and to put the screwdriver to disengage the charge, um, and to get the right, it's called an MF, that's like, it's a Mm, microferon or something like that. <laughs> um, anyway, it, these parts cost about $44, $45, something like that. Uh, I'll have a place on my website where you can order them and, um, and that's it. And I hope this will save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So before you go and buy a new motor, please check your capacitor, okay? Come visit me on my website. Thanks for uh, listening and we'll see you next time. Bye.